This is China, and this is the Du Jiang Yin irrigation system. Built in 256 BC, it's the oldest surviving water management scheme. Let's figure out how to make my tit look smaller. Does it look big? So I'm on the Min Jiang. It's a 735 kilometer river. Uh, it starts way up in the Tibetan Plateau, somewhere up in the mountains over here probably. And it comes down the Min Mountains and it picks up some speed and then it hits the Sichuan Basin right around this area. Because of the speed at which the water would be moving when it came down the mountain, the uh, water would sometimes flood the area. So they uh, decided they needed to figure out a way to stop that. At the time the area was going through war, they needed to be able to move ships to deliver supplies. So they didn't want to build a dam. So the governor at the time, his name is Li Ping, he studied the river and he came up with this plan to build this levee. Okay, let's see if we can figure out how this works. So the water comes from the north down here. It hits this levee and it gets divided up. Originally, this was made out of bamboo. There were bamboo baskets that were like sausages. They stuffed them with rocks. Right here in front of this sad panda is the bamboo baskets with the rocks in it. This is how the levee was constructed originally. The water gets divided up between the inner and the outer streams. The inner, which is coming up over here, it's deeper, it's more narrow, but it moves faster. And the outer, which is over that direction, it is, uh, it's wider, but it's shallow. And actually right now, there's not hardly any water in it at all. But they're controlling the water that's going into it. They've added some additions here, some modern additions to control the water a bit more. The shallowness of this side is uh, to allow the sediment to be flushed out. Okay, let's go further south and see what happens to the water after it gets split off. So this is the southern end, and as you can see, it's pretty dry. It's very dry. So where'd all that water go? Well, it's, it's being blocked off by this thing, which is a modern addition. The water is being redirected to provide water for farm fields. So this is bottleneck channel. This is the start of the irrigation system. The water, all the water that's being redirected here, this was never, it was never a channel here. It's really the most impressive part of the whole process because to get this water to go through here, they had to blow through this mountain. This, this is, uh, I guess it's called Mount Ule. And um, this was back like over 2,000 years ago when they didn't have gunpowder. So they couldn't just dynamite their way through it. They had to literally like set fires and cool it down with water, set fires, cool it down with water, and just keep putting pressure on the rock until it cracked. And then they would just remove the boulder. But that process, it took about eight years to do, to clear out this area and to free the water through. It, it's pretty crazy. All right, I'm gonna wrap this video up here as we're waiting for some wontons to show up. Obviously it was a huge success. The water here is spread out across Sichuan province. It actually covers 5,300 square kilometers. So it's a huge area that it irrigates. And it, it helped Sichuan become one of the most agriculturally productive uh, places in all of China. Somebody's watching me, staring at me. I don't like it. Um, oh, what's the difference? <laughs> the system is like, it's lasted all this time. So it's pretty incredible. Uh, the Japanese were actually told to bomb it and they, uh, they couldn't find it. They couldn't figure out what they were supposed to bomb because I think they assumed there'd be a dam. And it, it survived a really big earthquake. I think it was a solid two minutes of ground shaking. They felt it all the way in Shanghai. So it was a big, massive earthquake. Um, and of course it survived time, which is the most kind of craziest thing of all. Like you. Just like me. What? Unlike you. Unlike me. Sesame is a little bit. Okay, I'm out.